Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome to another quick shot review. I have just been to see the new movie Firestarter, a Stephen King novel adaption of the same name and uh, yeah i'm going to try and find there it is right so it came out in 2022 and it's about a young girl trying to understand how she mysteriously gained power to set things on fire with her mind although she does get some more things as she goes along it's directed by keith thomas and of course the writer is Stephen King. It is also a remake of a earlier film starring Drew Barrymore set back in the, I think, believe it was probably in the uh, early 90s, late 80s. Uh, but if you want to hear my thoughts on Firestarter, please like and subscribe to the channel and join us on social media, that's Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Uh, cheap shot entertainment but let's get into the main part of the video where I will explain what I thought of 2022's version of Firestar So Firestarter came out on the 13th of May, it's Friday the 13th, I'm surprised it didn't cotton on to that and release a Friday the 13th movie but it's got very average ratings and I would absolutely agree with this because it's got a lot of fizzle, and a lot of sizzle rather and very little fizzle because it kind of fizzles out and there's no real true blow off to the whole storyline. I do quite like the storyline. It's based on, I would say, the novel by Stephen King, but it's about a young girl trying to control her powers. The parents are also uh, mutate, mutated by an evil corporation. And so she, uh, she gains their powers as she goes along. I don't want to give too much away, um, but it's a bit of an anti-climax and uh, yeah, it's not very exciting for something where there's supposed to be a lot of fire and stuff like that. The visuals are absolutely fantastic. Um, the acting is also a plus point here. Um, starring Zac Efron, Ryan, Kira, Armstrong, Sidney, Lemon, uh, Michael, Grey Eyes. Uh, Kurtwood Smith is also in it, of course, of Robocop fame. We've got uh, Gloria Rubin. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we go from there because a lot of them are basic grunts that uh, are in this film. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was something. I was hoping it was going to pick up and there would be a massive crescendo at the end, and there just wasn't. It just sort of fizzled out to nothing, and I was quite disappointed with it, if I'm very honest with you. Um, I know Josh, who I'm watching the film with, or fell asleep halfway through, I didn't did. you, Josh? I did. So he can't join in with this review, but as the I first always... first half was pretty good. Yeah, as, I mean, the setup was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but it then, a bit boring. Yeah, then it just sort of fizzled out. There was no... There was no... Like well, I say, there was, no the end, there was no crescendo to it. Well, she made her do something. And yeah. Um, I well think that, that was your crescendo. Yeah, but it wasn't quite, it wasn't as impactful as, say, a, a Kerry or no. anything like that, was it? You know, well, it was I, I, I nearly, nearly spoiled it there, but yeah. no, there was no It wasn't quite as impactful as a Kerry. Um, it sort of borrowed a lot from X-Men and Carrie from 
like superhero origin movies, that kind of thing. Well, but like did, anti. Yeah. Like villains, weren't they? Well, they were anti heroes, weren't they? They were trying to do good, but they didn't quite manage it. But um, yeah, it didn't really know what it wanted to be. Um, I thought in this one, and and I can't say that I would recommend it. <laughs> I would probably give this one a miss, miss, wait for it to come out on Sky Cinema or any of other streaming services. Um, Netflix, give me a free subscription, please. Thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, But like I always say, if you want to go and watch this film, go and watch this film, make up your own mind. Um, I'm by no means a critic. I'm a film fan, but I just like to record my thoughts on things to... Uh, for other people to take note of so I'm not going to view this from the view of a critic like I say the, the the visuals were really good the acting was really good including the child actors as well um, but uh, yeah it just sort of fizzled like a sparkler you set it off and it's really pretty and, and it does all the things and then it just stops and then you have to chuck it in a bucket of water so you don't burn your hand. And make sure you always wear gloves when you handle a sparkler. First rule of bonfire night safety, people. Anyway, like I say, go and watch this film if you feel like you want to. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. Not my cup of tea, not my bag. Uh, I expected a lot more from it, from the trailers, but uh, yeah. Um, we know how the talk will that soon. I, again, <laughs> I'm not too bothered to be to be honest. I'll probably go watch it, but yeah, there you go. Anyway, Firestarter. If you've seen it, if you're going to see it, let me know what you thought in the comments section. You can join us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Cheap Shot Entertainment. And uh, I will see you next time for more film fun. Stay humble, film fans, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.